Phil Johnson here uh, from designsbyphil.com. Uh, I wanted to go over some basics on stepper motors uh, that might help people uh, wire their CNC machines and a little bit better understanding of uh, how they work. Uh, first off, the ones that are typically found are like this one. They are four wire bipolar. They have an A plus, an A minus, a B plus, and a B minus uh, wire. So there's basically two, uh, two sets of coils, okay? Two paths. Uh, the easiest way to find your pairs, okay? The ones that are A minus and A plus, uh, you won't know which one is which, but if you just take the motor with the wires free and give the motor a turn back and forth, you can feel how much resistance there is. There's not going to be much. As soon as you take a pair, and I already know which ones are the pairs on this one, and you short them out, and then you try to turn it, you can feel an immediate difference in the uh, amount of force it takes to rotate. So you let it go, and it frees up. Now, almost always, I have found that the black and green and the red and blue or red and white wires are pairs. So black and green is a pair, red and blue or red and white is a pair. Okay, now how stepper motors reverse their polarity. So when you have two motors facing each other like this, to make the axis roll in unison, one has to be going the opposite of the other, okay? So when they're facing each other, or opposing, they roll the same direction. But if you line them up, they're rolling the opposite directions. How you reverse one motor, or one of them, is you find the pairs, like in this case, it was the black and green, okay, and red and blue. So let's say into the driver motor, or into the uh, motor driver, you have the wires going black, green, red, and blue. To reverse a motor's polarity, you only take one of the pairs and reverse the order. So instead of being black and green, we do green, then black. We still do red, then blue. So you're just reversing one of the pairs and that reverses the polarity of that motor. That is necessary to do on the wiring side of one of the motors, let's say on a y-axis, if you have opposing motors, okay? Now, if you have one that uses screwdrivers like the CNC for newbie, all their motors face the same direction when they have dual motors for the y-axis. So those, all of them, get wired the same. So the easiest way to wire a machine like that is just wire all four motors the same going into the drivers. If you need to reverse one of the uh, axes, okay, go over to my website, <clears throat> okay, go over and up to any one of the uh, the demon controller uh, assemblies, okay? And you go here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll find this section here. Stepper movers, motors moving in the wrong direction. You find your dollar sign three setting, okay? And you can do that by going into the command center or the command uh, prompt and typing in dollar sign, dollar sign, enter. You do that, it'll show you all your gerbil settings. Okay, you find the, what your current dollar sign three is, let's say it was seven. Okay, now we look at this stuff down here. If I push left and the x-axis goes left, then I can leave that there. If I push back and my y-axis moves front, then we're gonna change that to that one. If I move Z, 
down and it goes down, then you can leave that one. The suggested setting or the correct setting for dollar sign three is five if the Y is moving at, uh, wrong. Okay, now you can see that as you change different ones, you'll get different readouts. Okay, this is all based off of the, the gerbil chart that you can find uh, on their main website. It just, just makes it a little bit easier. So that's your basics for uh, how to wire your stepper motors. Um, another aspect of the stepper motor is your steps per millimeter. Or uh, I shouldn't say that, your uh, micro stepping. So if you were <clears throat> to just put a pulse of a full step, there would be 200, um, 200 positions in one rotation, okay? Micro-stepping subdivides those. So at 2x, instead of 200, there'd be 400. At 4x, there'd be 800, and so on and so forth. Um, all my uh, demon controllers that I put out there, I put all of them at 8x micro-stepping. That tends to give you the smoothest uh, um, yeah, smoothest uh, control and a good resolution. Uh, what you're doing is gaining resolution. Uh, you can figure out your, your resolution using your steps per millimeter that you have to enter, uh, but that is another discussion for another time. I just wanted to show the basics. Alright, thanks guys.